welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, hit that button. If you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this Beautifully Honest reaction. I wanted to talk about this. I want to share this video. This is from Sherelle's World. I will have a link to it in the description box. But she was talking about Siraji P. Henson being blacklisted in the industry by Oprah Winfrey. And I want to get your thoughts. She shared some things. And because I previously talked about this, I wanted to share it, give my reaction to some of the things that were said. And I would love to know your thoughts about it. So let's just get into this and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And talk about how Oprah Winfrey has literally gotten Taraji P. Henson blackballed from Hollywood. And not only did she get her blackballed, she used the same exact techniques that she did with the comedian Monique. So let's get into it. Now, we all know in Hollywood, you're only as good as your last film. We've heard that saying a million times. But it's the absolute truth in Hollywood. And what the saying means is, if your last film was a hit, then you're a hit. You're celebrated by the town. But if it's a flop... No one wants to be associated with you. And that's because at the end of the day, nothing matters in Hollywood but money. Mix that with the fact that Hollywood is a good old boys network. Meaning you can't even get your foot in the door if you don't know someone that can bring you in. I want to pause it right there because I know she said it's all about money, which it is, but it's also about the way you make people feel and... Clearly, Monique being in Precious, it was not... Actually, the film made way more money than what she got paid for, which is one of the issues that she had, as well as what they paid to have it done. And we know Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, and Lee Daniels all had a hand in Precious coming to light. But the issue with Monique was the fact that They were not placating to, she was not placating to their demands and she was demanding and commanding more than they were willing to give her. So they labeled her as being difficult to work with. So it's not just about the money. I mean, it is what it is, people. You've got to be a part of the good old boy network. And when Oprah was starting to make a name for herself in movies and films, her end was Harvey Weinstein. This is one of the reasons she remained quiet when he went through his allegation, because she didn't want to mess up her relationships with the studios. This is how she got Warner Brothers to invest $100 million into the musical The Color Purple, despite the fact that in this day and age, no one really likes musicals like that. I mean, this isn't the 50s when Fred Astaire was the talk of the town, but because she was a part of the good old boys network, they invested the money. So let's fast forward to Christmas 2023 when the movie was premiered. The film had an unbelievably huge opening, bringing in $18 million, making the Color Purple musical the second biggest Christmas Day opening of all time. Or at least that's the lie that they wanted us to believe. According to the rumors, the film actually made only $11 million. And the next day, the film took a bigger nosedive. It fell to 70% and grossed only $7 million. And the day after that, the film only made $3 million. So why did they lie about the numbers when they knew right away that the film was a huge flop? Well, isn't that the obvious? If we say what a great movie it is and what a big hit it is, this will encourage more people to run out feeling like they are missing out on something and watch the film. So why they were busy lying to the public behind the scenes was a chaotic mess. That movie didn't even get close to making a hundred million. Oprah knew right away someone had to take the hit. Someone had to be the fall guy because whoever the fall guy is, there is absolutely no way that they're making another movie in Hollywood for some years. So Oprah gets a meeting with Warner Brothers and right away she tells them, Taraji P. Henson is the reason this film was a flop. I can see that happening. No, we weren't there and we don't know if she actually made the call, but listen. Oprah does not strike me as... She doesn't really strike me as um, a very sympathetic creature. And when 
Taraji was sharing her grievances, even though Taraji, I feel like she tried to backpedal a little bit. Let's just be honest. She did. She definitely backpedaled. She was in her feelings and her emotions when she was sharing what she was sharing. Not saying that she was lying about anything, but there really is a time and place for everything. And I just feel that she has accepted a lot that may not have been fair, but the bottom line is she accepted it. And in the viewpoint of the majority of Americans, they may want the best for you and, you know, want to try to support your work and whatever, but it's like, girl, we got our struggles and, and, and griefs and grievances as well. So we can't be out here fighting for you to make millions and millions of dollars, especially when you chose to be in this field of acting. It's a privilege. It's really not a right. And no, it's not fair that people in the majority ethnicity are getting paid more than you. And, you know, if they're doing things that are similar to you, but you're accepting it. She said she turned viewers away by talking about African Americans not getting paid what they're worth and revealing about how poorly they were treated behind the scenes. There was no security. Uh, the Everyone had to share a trailer and how she almost didn't do the color purple because they didn't offer her enough money. Then she took a play out of the Monique playbook by saying that Taraji was difficult to work with and she wasn't a team player. Therefore, no one should really invest money into Taraji because she's a loose cannon. And when the studios push back, asking Oprah, why didn't you handle these problems when you first learned there was a problem? According to the rumors, Oprah said that she did, but she never knew what was going to come out of Taraji's mouth, even when she tried to fix the problem. According to the rumors, Oprah left out several important facts when talking to the studio. Like they couldn't get an overseas traction. People just didn't like the film overseas, period. Second, the things that Taraji said were actually true. It's not like she was just making things up to make Oprah look bad. And three, Taraji wasn't directly trying to take shots at Oprah. She was talking about problems as a whole that go on in our society. Y'all know I've been doing this a while. And I've been on productions where I've been the only black person, the only female. And I needed things. And I didn't have anybody I could call. I just had to bite the bullet and I had to show up every day with grace and I had to do my job. It's happened more times than you would ever know. However, at the end of the day, none of that mattered. They wanted to know who was responsible for them losing millions of dollars. And Oprah just gave them an easy alibi. Taraji P. Henson, responsible. I believe it. Is it fair for her to get blackballed for this? No. But the blackballing thing is, it, it really is not so much them saying, don't ever work with this person ever again. It's basically saying this person was not a great investment for us. So just letting you know that. And then when people hear that, they're going to have doubts about working with that person to give, you know, their money uh a, you know, a chance of being lost. Like they, they see that person as a risk. So Oprah even labeling her as difficult definitely is what we would call blackballing. And let's not forget, Oprah needs funding for her upcoming movie, The Covenant of Water. So in other words, she had to do what she had to do. I'm not even going to lie because I know they said that The Color Purple didn't do well overseas. It just didn't translate well. But obviously it didn't do really well here in the United States either. I know I spoke about it a little bit and I've heard other people share some similar sentiments. I didn't want to go see The Color Purple. And I doubt that I will even watch it when it's available on a free app or an app that I may be already paying for. But I'm definitely not interested in seeing it. I'm one, I'm not really into musicals. I heard it's a musical. And now to hear that she needs funding for her upcoming film um, production on some book called The Covenant of Water. Who wants to see that? I I'm just being honest. Oprah really is out of touch. And 
I thought she learned that a long time ago when she had the Oprah Winfrey Network, which it still bears her name, but she's not the owner of it anymore. Remember when that network first came out? It was a lot of stuff that people just were not interested in and it was not doing well. And that's when she teamed up with Tyler Perry or Medea or both. And then Tyler Perry was producing a lot of shows that were coming on the network like The Have and The Have Nots. Um, the what what was it called another one it was a horrible show um <laughs> if loving you is wrong that's the name of it and then some other things were happening too he brought the ratchet or some of somewhat or maybe ratchet adjacent to the network and it brought people over to watch it and then some other things started being produced and shown like green leaf and queen sugar those were good things you know what i mean but the covenant of water what is that about? I don't even want to know what it's about. And Oprah's a billionaire. Why? I, I get it. Rich people, they always want to use other people's money because that's how they stay rich. They put their money to work to make more money. And then they use other people's money for the things that are going to be a risk. So her obviously making another movie and producing it is definitely a risk for the money because The Color Purple did not do well. So if it took $100 million to have that done, she didn't want to waste her own money. But maybe if you use your own money, then you wouldn't have to try to prove things to these investors. If you believe in the project so much, then spend your own money to do that. So when the word gets out that the studios don't want anyone to work with Taraji P. Henson anymore... Many are outraged about what just happened. It literally created a bigger divide between Oprah and Whoopi Goldberg. They said 50 Cent was upset. They said Denzel Washington was upset. Terrence Howard was upset. And Terrence Howard was one of the few that even spoke up for Monique when it all was happening. Everybody's got a right to speak what's on their mind. You know, it's good. She's got an Oscar from it, and she's still an amazing actor and amazing comedian. Now, that's a very powerful list of people that are willing to stand by Taraji's side. But that really doesn't matter. Because when you're blackballed, that means all the major studios band together to make sure no one hires you. And if you cross that line, you might take a hit yourself. Perfect example, 50 Cent has his own studio. Yet he still needs investors to invest in his projects. Because without his backers' fundings, his studios could go under. So even though he's willing to work with Taraji, he has to think about his company. So that multi-million dollar contract that 50 was going to give Taraji, it may not come to fruition. Now, a lot of people are thinking Oprah had to do what she had to do. Because at the end of the day, she's a businesswoman. And others are thinking all of Oprah's talk about being a positive person in society and touching people's lives in a good way is just a bunch of talk. What Maya Angelou told me when I came back from my school, there was a calling on my line when I went to her house because she wasn't able to to come to the the opening. And I I was like, oh, my. All right. I'm going to pause that right there because I don't really care to hear her babble about Maya Angelou and... (laughs) All of this other, you know, stuff. But I don't, I I don't not understand Oprah maybe feeling a bit blindsided when they were doing the press tour and Taraji was sharing her thoughts about everything. Honestly, that may not have been the best space for her to do that. I'm not saying it's fair for her to get blacklisted, but if indeed that is going on, I can't say that she should be surprised because she did something that I have said over and over again. And it's not an easy thing to do, especially um, when you're just really going through it at the moment. And that's to hold back on your feelings when you're feeling hurt and expressing it at the moment. But you cannot be led by your feelings because your feelings can fool you and make a fool out of you. That wasn't the place and time for her to do that. She should have just, if, you know, she did all of the work because that, that's the other thing too that I wanted to talk about. If she put in all of this work and had to 
do this job that she got paid to do, whether she feels like she was underpaid for it or not, she was paid. Why not wait until the dust has settled to express your feelings about how you almost had to turn down doing the color purple and all of the other things that she was going through? I'm not saying it was fair for the treatment that she received to be receiving that treatment, but I will say I just feel that she made a huge mistake by doing that. I'm not saying the treatment is fair. That's not what I'm saying. But if she has been blackballed and it's possible that that has definitely happened because if it happened to Monique after she won an Oscar, like Taraji may have been in a number of different projects, but that doesn't mean that she is above receiving the same treatment. And some may say, well, it might be a little bit of her karma because she didn't really stand up for Monique years ago when Monique was going through what she was going through. And a lot of people didn't stand up for her. But we heard Terrence Howard, who starred with her in the show Empire, and he said she had the right to express what she was going through and what she was feeling. Did Taraji do the same? No. So again, like I said, if she is blackballed, not saying that it's okay, But if people choose to stay away and steer clear of working with her because they don't want to experience the same fate that she experienced, it would be similar to what she did do or didn't do when Monique was expressing what she was going through. She stared clear of speaking about the situation because she didn't want to experience the same fate that Monique experienced, period, you know? So yeah, let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section. I have the link to the full video in the description box if you want to go check it out and subscribe to Sherelle's World channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Thank you so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and I'm going to say bye.